Hey guys, Mark Galloway here. I'm back. I know, yeah, it's been over a month since my vlog, my 4th of July video. I don't, well, it's been a, over a month since I shot it, and it took me a couple days to get it done, but you know, it's still a long time. I know I'm not really active so much here on this channel. I still, I try to do vlogs every now and then, and blah, blah, blah. And I haven't really thought of anything to cook, but here's a cooking video for you. So recently I was at the dog house and I had their pizza burger and pizza dog. Although they were pretty good, they were not what I was hoping to come out. So we're going to do this in the right way. So um, what I saw is that like on the burgers, when they make pizza burgers, they would usually make the top bun, the bottom and the bottom bun, the top, and then add pizza sauce, cheese, blah, blah, blah. So we have uh, our burger buns, we have hot dog buns, we have our hot dogs uh, right here. We have our ground beef to make the burger. Uh, we have a small bag of mozzarella, and we have our marinara sauce. Uh, mar mar marinara sauce, my bad. So the only thing that I forgot to get was pepperoni. But since this is a cooking video and just showing you um, how it's actually made, it's not really necessarily uh, needed to make. But you can add uh, pepperoni, whatever topping you want, or parsley, anything. Um, how, uh, so, how, so how it's usually used as when you use pepperoni is that like when you make a pizza dog, um, the pepperoni goes on the top after you add in the sauce, cheese, etc. And then when you, when you, and then here's the really, this is the really challenging part. When you make the, the pizza burger, when you add pepperoni to the, to the bun, you have to make it into tiny circles. You get like a pair of scissors and then you just make them into like little tiny dots or something like that. Probably just like the size of, I can't really get it, but like just the size of like the, like, see right here, my fingers right here where that's making a no. Yeah, you, you just like take a pair of scissors and then you just cut it. Okay, now we're gonna get to our recipe. So the first thing what we're gonna do is that like for our pizza burger, uh, we're actually going to toast the bun, and then uh, and then we're going to uh, take this ground beef and then make it into a burger, and uh, and then so after the pizza burger is done, we then take we're then gonna make the uh, pizza dog. So we're actually going to 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 make the we're actually going to uh, we're actually gonna grill. The hot dog, but but you have to let it cool off because we're going to put everything else into the oven. But since uh, but since we're adding uh, the the top the bottom bun is actually going to go into the oven as it's going to be cooked. But you only put it in for about uh, about five to ten minutes. So anyways, let's get ready and do this. Okay, so it's hard to see, but you have the pan frying right now. So and the burger is uh, actually uh, made. It's not done, but it's been crafted. What you want to do is uh, take some uh, ground beef and then take as much as you would like to and then just make it into any size burger you need. Now, um, and here we have the buns. So this is, uh, now this is the bottom, this is the top, but we're going to make a switcheroo. This is going to be the bottom and this is going to be the top and you'll see why, although I did explain. So um, you have the option to put it on the pan or toast it if you want but this is easier so uh, you ha you can also have the choice to toast your hot dog bun but i'm not going to do it for this uh cooking video because uh, most of the time whenever you try it it would it's bound to break but anyways uh let's get a little bit creative now if you want to really get some flavor into this bun you have to put some butter all over the bun as much as you can now mind you the bun does not have to be hot when it's all done and all that. You just want to be sure to get like that crispy stuff in there. So here's the bottom, the top, and then you put that in and now it's sizzling. It's going to take only like about a couple minutes for it to really get in there. You just want to make sure that the top is completely and the, and the bottom is completely all toasted up. The butter is just really what's going to help um, sizzle that, uh, get not only get some flavor in there, but it's also going to help, uh, well I mean it doesn't really help it stick, but this is just an option. You just want to get, any, if you want to just put any flavor, any kind of flavor you want to, just like butter or anything, just, probably just butter. You don't have to do if you don't want to, then we put this in, and now we have our buns toasted, 
and I and now I'm just gonna get the rest of the stuff. We have the grill frying up right now, and we're gonna put the burger on there shortly. Okay, and there you go. You want to be sure to oh. My thumb got a little bit of it, but yeah, there you go. You this is this is exactly what we want. we'll put the top in there for a little bit more, but the bottom is uh, done. You just want to be sure you get like that really crispiness and all that in there. And you see that the you, you can't really see it too well. Well, a little bit. Uh, I'll zoom in. Uh, it's blurry. It'll probably get there. Uh, I well, I can't really. Pro okay, there we go. And our oven is all set, but we're gonna get to that in a minute. So you, you see right here, you have all the toasted contagious source, whatever it is that you need. And you can see that the butter is all soaked in there. So now you have the flavor of what you need. So let me just, let's just take a look at the, 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 the bottom or top bun one more time. It's not really getting in the middle. So we'll just leave it on there for another minute or two. Uh, well, the outsides are, the outside is all toasted, but we'll just get a, put about another minute or two onto this bun, and if it doesn't really get there, even if it's just a little bit more, we'll stop it right there. Okay, so the top or the, the bottom was really able just to get the outside, but that's really okay. So now we're only going to put the hot dog into this pan right here. I turned it off. We'll, we'll put it on low heat. So now let's put. I'm going to put the burger on the bun. And we're going to just let this cook in. And then um, after the hot dog is cooked, I'll describe how that one is um, done from there on out. And then I'm going to show you, after I flip the burger, I'll show you what needs to be done from there. Okay, now I will show you what we will do meantime with the hot dog bun for when you're starting. The reason why there's foil on there is because like when you cook it, um, you might have you might have to realize that this uh, bun is gonna fall down just like that. So you want something to hold it together as it cooks and all that. So uh, what we're gonna do first, we have our sauce and our mozzarella cheese. So what you're gonna do is take like some some knives, and take some marina marinara sauce, and what we're gonna do. Spread it on the outside. Spread it on the outside of the hot dog bun, both sides. You will add a little bit more later on. Right now, this is just gonna. This is just gonna try to eat. You go. You want to even the taste, because if you put a lot of cheese in there, maybe just we're just being a little creative. There we go. Now we have our bun of marina sauce. Now, if you want to, this is also optional. You can also sprinkle a little bit, just like a pinch of mozzarella, and then just put it all the way across, just like that. Bam. Okay, now this is the bottom or the top bun. So, now as I said, the pepperoni is optional along with other ingredients, but since we are only going to be able to do cheese, I'm going to show you that how it's done. You first take some the sauce. And be careful when you spread it around. Just like that. You want to just be sure to get like all sides. That's probably a little too much. I'll put some back in. All right, there we go. Get like a little bit tad more. All right, there we go. And now next, add in your cheese. And then you just spread it around when it's all piling up. And there you go, you have your pizza bun for the topping. So we're gonna put this in the oven for about five to 10 minutes. And then once the hot dog is done, we'll take it from there on out. Okay, the burger still needs a little bit more time to cook, but we're gonna do the finishing steps on the hot dog. Here's the cooked hot dog, and you're gonna put it right in there. So now, what you're gonna do, okay, we'll zoom out. So now what you're gonna do here, 
you're going to take all the foil, you're gonna roll it up and then close it right in onto the hot dog or into the hot dog. And that really is just gonna help hold everything in. All right, there you go. You just wanna be, you don't wanna do it too tight. Just go a little bit more in like that. So now what you're gonna do here, you're gonna add in, oh, let's get the cam, let's get it back in the angle. So now what you're gonna do, add in a tad bit more of marinara sauce. Spread it across. And then, cheese. And there you go. That's your pizza dog. It's almost done. It just needs to be cooked. All right, it's time to put them into the oven. So it's hard to see or tell. Well, probably not. So right here, that's the hot dog, and that's the pizza bun. So now we're just gonna let it, let them all melt all in there for about five to 10 minutes. And now let's get to the burger. All right, here we go with the burger. We're gonna, let's flip it. There you go, you wanna be sure to get all that stuff right there. All right, let's position the camera and now let's get to work. All right, what you're gonna do right here, add a little bit of marina sauce. There is some gonna be dripping on the side, but that's all right. All right, you have your sauce. And now you add the cheese. And then just close in there and just keep letting it cook until it's all melted. And then it's ready to serve. Like so. Spread it all around. A little bit a little more if you want to. And bam! Now let's close this up and let it finish. Okay, the pizza bun is done. Um, okay, I thought the cheese was completely melted, but it's pretty good. So now we're gonna take our burger. Bon Appetit, place it on this bun right here. Now, it's also optional for you to place any Marina Nara sauce on the bottom bun if you want to. But well, we're gonna see how it tastes first, and then you take this bun, and then, bam! And there is your burger, there's your pizza burger. And there is our finished products. Okay, so the pizza dog just came out of the oven, and it was pretty hot, it's, feeling, it's still pretty warm. I think it's still hot on the inside, but it's still, I think it's still gonna come out good. And this is our pizza burger. And I think it's time to give it a taste test, the ultimate moment. The ultimate moment, time for the taste test. I hope this is still not so burning hot. Okay, so this is the pizza dog right here. Let's see how it came out. Three, two, one. It's still pretty hot a little bit, but mm. oh my god, it's so good. Yeah, this is a lot better than the pizza dog at the hot dog or. The doghouse, my bad. Yeah, so this is why I said in that video that this would be 10 times better because if you add in a little bit more cheese at the top or any topping you want, you really get that pizza flavor. Mmm. Mmm. This 
pizza dog that's just, oh my god. Now it's time for the pizza burger. I'm so excited, let's try it. Yeah, there is like a little bit less marina sauce on there, but I still think it's gonna be good. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. There was some grease dropping. Let me get another bite. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um. Okay, so the burger still kind of like takes takes away from. The, uh, the patty itself, the meat patty, it, it kind of still like takes away the pizza flavor, even when it's even when it's uh, has all that ingredients and such on there. Let me get one more. Mm. Yeah. I felt grease dripping on my toes. Okay, yeah, it's good. I think it came out 10 times better. I don't know if I should say 10 times better, but it came out a lot better than that, than that pizza burger at the doghouse. <clears throat> okay, so the only thing that just kind of like ruins it is that the burger, I mean, yeah, if you order, if you get like a hamburger meat on a pizza, you still kind of like get the pizza flavor, even if it's just chunks. But when it's the main burger itself, it kind of like ma mainly takes away most of the flavor. But I, but I do think that this was a lot better than the doghouse. So anyways guys, that's, that's really it for this video of, the, of how to make a pizza burger and a pizza dog. So if you like this video, leave a like down below, share, comment, and subscribe for more vlogs and cooking, vid cooking videos when I can. And that's really going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, that's it. And that was the pizza dog and the pizza burger.